place you after you watch film? Things that you saw differently on film than, than you saw on? Mm -hmm. uh, I thought the guys played pretty hard. We had three loaves. Uh, for the most part, I mean, we weren't electric. Uh, you know, there, it's a fine line defensively. You're either here or you're here, typically. There's usually not an in-between. Uh, so I, I think the effort was was, a, was not great, but, I mean, it was okay. I um, thought we tackled poorly, especially early. We you got to get, I think, some of us, you get in game mode because you're not really out there. Uh, tackling guys in the legs, and you're not really doing things live all the time. You can't really do that and stay healthy. And, uh, so hopefully that was just kind of getting going. Poor tackling at the beginning. We didn't uh, run, our, run our feet as well as we needed to. And some of our angles weren't uh, weren't as crisp as they needed to be uh, early on. So we kind of we kind of got our feet a little bit better after that. Um, Trying to think of some other things that, that were different than what I thought. Um, you know, fundamentally, um, some guys did did decent, better than I probably thought they would do, better than they had probably done in practice. Uh, so we got to continue to work on the little things because, especially in the secondary, little things become big things. Whether you step underneath yourself or, or you don't get on the right leverage or whatnot, we did not play our leverage is great. Uh, in the secondary, uh, we, we need to undercut some balls sometimes. Uh, we had our post player running down in there sometimes, so a lot of, a lot of things to correct. Uh, and hopefully, watching it in, in a game, the guys got something out of it as far as the learning curve. So, so. Through this week, how do you balance addressing the problem that you saw in game one versus? Preparations, you know, some tweaks and things you got to do. To well, you, you say, all right, here's here's our weaknesses. Uh, we have to fix these things, and we're trying to address it. Uh, you know, we are so much different than, let's say, what Tomlin's got going on up there. They can go try to sign somebody, somebody else released or whatever. That we can't go like do that. Uh, so we're trying. We made a couple of personnel deals. Nothing radical. And then we, we are still seeing what our guys can do. You know, this is going to be a little bit of a learning because we're trying to learn what our guys can do. Bless you, that was a sneeze. Uh, yeah, and then and some of us learning what our guys can't do. Um, so some guys can't do certain things, so we're trying to make adjustments. And, we, you know, I've said this many times. We need to not put our guys in positions they can't be successful. So if they can't do something, we need to not kind of have that in the plan. Um, we have to, um, and we talk about Missouri, you know, there's so many facets with Missouri that offensively, you know, I look back for as long as I can really remember, um, Missouri's offense has been dynamic, it's been uh, tempo, uh, it's been, they've been one of the progressive teams in the spread. Um, so they're, they're going to be really, they're really going to be an offense that we're really going to have to be. Yeah, it's going to be a great test for us to see where we're at. They're, they're in a lot of respects. They're a Big 12 team that can still run the football. Uh, might, you know, they used to be in the Big 8. So um, you know, I've, been to that, I've been to that stadium a few times. So uh, anyway, um, so this is going to be a really great test for us. Uh, we're going to see where we're at, you know, going in obviously to, to our league here in a couple of weeks. Um, you know, we, we have to we have to again be prudent and uh, you know, make some adjustments. And so we got a really we got an athletic quarterback. I did not think JMU's quarterback would run the ball as much as he did. And, um, Fool me, did he did a great job? He made some really good throws. So you know, it was it was a challenge against those guys for sure. It was all it was all we had to, to try to get the win. With their split in the way you do practice reps, more versus hey, we're working on us during these periods versus hey, yeah, we're working against. No, we we I mean we got to be we have to be smart. We we have to do what we do better than they do what they do. I mean that that's just the way it is. Um, 
nobody can just sit there and change who they are. Uh, we're, we're not chameleons, and we, you know, we can't just change our color based on our environment. We have to do what we do. Uh, so, I've got a friend named Chris Rock. He used to say this all the time. You know, we got to do what we do better than they do what they do. And he'd say that all the time. Obviously, he got somebody else, but it's a true statement. And uh, you know, we we need to improve at what we do and get better at it. And um, you know, whether we move some guys around or adjust by half a man or something, then, that, then that's what we do. With Brian, the quarterback, what sort of challenges does he present this week that maybe he didn't see last week? Oh, well, I don't. You know, the reason I brought up JMU's quarterback, uh, I'm a little tired, so it's, I know it's an Italian name, but I don't want to screw it up, so I'd rather not just say JMU's quarterback. Uh, I hope Kelly doesn't have as much success running the football as what he did. Uh, so uh, I think he'll probably throw the ball close to the same. So take what you give him. And, uh, but, we have got to do a great job of not letting him get going. Obviously, and that's that's a magic deal. And, uh, we, but you got to stop the run. If you don't stop the run, you can't stop anything. And if we allow them to run the football like we kind of allowed JMU the first half last week, uh, then it's going to be a hard day for us. We're going to have to we're going to have to get some key red zone stops like we did. And that's kind of what saved the day a little bit. What did you find out about your bandits fund? Uh, nothing that, nothing that's, I mean, nothing changed. Uh, we, we still have to uh, figure out what those guys can do. That's a really learning curve for those guys. And, uh, we, we've probably got to cut back on a number of things we're trying to do. Biggest challenge with a mobile quarterback, all your guys are accounted for now because he can run and extend plays. Well, you saw it happen the other day when we were in man coverage. Um, if the guys up front don't make the play, then everybody's got their eyes gone, which, I mean, you're saying all the time, don't look back in the backfield when you're playing man coverage. It'd be graded off for that. So if the guys up front don't make the play and he breaks the line, then it's, you know, it's third of the rushing yards. So... Um, we have to be prudent about that. We're, we're going to have to challenge the receivers. We're going to have to play close to them. And by doing that, it's, that's called man. Um, but we've got to be prudent about the way we do it. And I thought we had a good plan and have folders and wrappers. We just got to execute better. So. The play Diamante made, um, Forson. It's a good play. He, uh, uh, Lindsey, Lindsey, um, he, he got a lot of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? He, he's moved up the depth charts, I'll put it that way, for, for lack of being able to think of a good word for it. Um, the, um, you know, he's going to be given more opportunities. He did a great job on kickoff team as well. He split double team and made tackle like a couple of times, so it saved us. Um, he's going to be given more opportunities. He played better in the game than he had practiced. So... What we've got to do is get him to practice, and then obviously, then when he plays in the game, um, yeah, there'll be another level. So we've got to continue to work on that. I you know, wish he was a young guy that we could groom and teach how to do all those things. If he's not, we're just going to do the best we can with what we got right now. How, how important is it for guys like that? Jinky Smith, uh, low, they got on for a handful of plays. Uh, plays. Critical. And, you know, Ty Key, you know, I think. Coach Brown said something about we need to play him more snaps in the staff meeting the other day. Yeah, he played six snaps and didn't grade very well, but he made some tackles, so I know he can do it. So he's just his fundamental stuff has got to improve. And, uh, you know, and, and it will. I mean, that was his first game, and uh, I'm sure things were pretty excited in his head. And uh, he'll, he'll become better. This is the first road game, so I'm sure he'll have another game where he'll be know what he'll be thinking about other things except exactly what he's supposed to be doing man. and that's part of the teaching and progression so uh, our guys I thought did a good job one of the things I noticed about this team is they didn't lose their head um, a lot of teams on the first game the first couple of drives you got mistakes across the board uh, I thought our guys for the most part maintained 
you know, their techniques and maintain their gaps and did pretty much what they were supposed to do. We didn't have a bunch of guys that just went haywire. So that's a positive. Uh, all, when you always go on the road, especially in uh, you know, an environment like Missouri, it's, you're going to have some of that. I know maybe been the last time I coached there, I was walking in there and somebody poured a coat out of the stands on top of me. So that was a sticky day for me. <laughs> um, so anyway, I've got some good memories about that. You've got uh, two pretty good players at the same position in Lowe and uh, Ben Chandler. Yeah, and they both did a good job at time. Chandler made a bunch of plays. Obviously, the wheel linebacker position historically has been a, a, been a key spot for us statistically. Actually, he did better than, than we, than he, you know, like Lindsey, than he probably shown in practice. And uh, he's going to be getting a lot more opportunities to be successful. I think that's three wheels, though, right? Well, see, um, yeah, to answer your question, yes. And we're playing some guys around different spots, too, as well. So right. those are those are those hybrid linebacker type guys that we don't have enough of. Okay, thanks, coach.